This is a quick fire IGCSE and GCSE chemistry video. I'm using the iPad in order to do that because I want to draw a couple of things. If you can hear the bell, it's the kitten. Even though she's six years old, she's still our kitten. Don't forget to press play, then pause as soon as I've said the question, write down your answer and then play the video again to check what I think is the correct answer. So we're gonna start by testing your ability to write the correct formula of different compounds. So our first compound is calcium nitrate, is your answer. Lead 2 oxide, iron 3 chloride, iron 3 carbonate, I'm going to do my working here. So I need to make sure that my charges are balanced which means that effectively I need three carbonate ions for every two iron three ions. So my final answer here is Fe2 bracket CO3 three. Don't forget your brackets. And the final one, aluminium oxide. Now we're drawing the electronic configuration of carbon. So carbon has six electrons all together. I've used my periodic table to tell me that. So two electrons go into that first shell and then four into the second shell, 2.4. What is the relative formula mass of calcium carbonate? Using your periodic table, we can see that calcium has a mass of 40, carbon is 12, three lots of oxygen, your final answer here is 100. Find the empirical formula of a compound containing 3.2 grams of sulfur and 3.2 grams of oxygen. So our masses are given in the question. Our MRs, we found out from the periodic table. Our number of moles are given by mass divided by MR. Identify the smallest number as being 0.1. Divide both sides by 0.1 to get a ratio of one to two. Our final answer is SO2. Write a word and symbol equation for the reaction between aluminium and hydrochloric acid. It makes the salt aluminium chloride and hydrogen as a byproduct. Al, learn the formula of hydrochloric acid, it's HCl, forms AlCl3. Remember that hydrogen is diatomic. Now double check to see if it's balanced, it's not. Now double check, you've got two Al's on the left hand side, two on the right, six chlorines on the right hand side, six on the left, six hydrogens, six hydrogens, it's done. Write a word and symbol equation for the reaction between magnesium oxide and sulfuric acid, plus water. Remember if you like these sorts of perfect answers, my revision guides are full of them. And if you're not sure as to how I'm getting to my answers, make sure you check out all my other topic videos. So how to balance equations, how to write salt equations, how to do mole calculations. This is a revision video, hence why I'm blasting through the answers really quickly and not doing very much working out. Okay, now double check to see if it's balanced. We've got 1mg, 1mg, 1s, 1s, 4 plus 1 oxygens, 5, 5, 2 hydrogens, 2 hydrogens. Yes, far more straightforward to balance this one. Next up, aqueous sodium chloride underwent electrolysis. Predict the products at the cathode and anode and write half equations for the reactions. And let's make a couple of notes to ourselves. Remember that the cathode is the negative electrode. The anode is the positive one. Now we need to focus in on what's undergoing electrolysis. Now, Obviously, there's going to be sodium ions and chloride ions present, but because it's aqueous means that we also have water in the form of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. So now you need to work out which out of sodium and hydrogen is going to be deposited at the negative electrode, because remember, opposites attract. Remember, it's the least reactive element, which is why hydrogen is discharged. So at the cathode, hydrogen is formed. Let's do a half equation. Remember hydrogen is a diatomic gas, so make sure it's balanced. Now at the anode, picking between chloride ions and hydroxide ions, remember that the halogen always discharges preferentially, which is why chlorine is the answer. 
Again, chlorine is diatomic. Make sure you've balanced. And that is your final answer. For the second equation, you could have also written this. Both are acceptable. One bonus question is label which of these reactions is oxidation and which is reduction. Oil rig will help you remember which way round is which. Rig, reduction is gain of electrons. We can see that taking place here, which is why this first reaction is reduction. Oxidation is loss of electrons. That's taken place over here. Right, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and let me know if you'd like to see similar videos in the future.